guys, hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to be posting a keto cooking video because a few of you were actually interested in learning how to cook some keto meals. Um, first part of this video, it's kind of a twofer, two for one. Um, I'm going to be making a little snack and it's, uh, um, what is it called? It's called a chaffle. And I don't know who coined that original term or who invented it first, but a lot of um, keto YouTube channels make this. And I'm just putting my own little spin on it. Okay, hopefully this angle is going to work over here. Um, you know I'm not a professional cooking YouTuber person. So I'm going to show you what I have today um, for ingredients to make these chaffles. Um, I'm just doing a little batch. I'm going to make two chaffles. I have one egg, one large egg, and some mozzarella cheese, some Parmesan cheese. This is the finely shredded Parmesan cheese, not the powdered kind. Um, just some cooking spray, whatever kind of cooking spray you want to use. Oops. And garlic powder. You don't have to use this exact recipe, but um, it sounded good in my mind, so I'm going to try it. And then just a little tiny bit of arugula. Um, I don't have that much because arugula is very flavorful. And of course I'm going to put some salt and pepper in there. And then this little handy dandy doobob here is a Dash Mini Waffle Maker. Look how cute and tiny it is. Super cute. It was super cheap. I'm going to link this down below because this thing has been a really good friend of mine. <laughs> um, it's just fun and it makes the cutest little waffles. Um, I have the waffle maker on this paper towel because it will probably overflow at some point. Okay. Um, and you don't have to use the same kind of cheese I use. You could use cheddar cheese. In fact, I think a lot of people do use cheddar cheese. Whatever kind of shredded cheese you want to use. Um, my first step is I'm going to spray down my little dash waffle maker. And that's a whole lot of spray on accident. <laughs> Um, let me crack my egg here. Um, you're going to scramble your egg up. And then add whatever seasonings you want. I'm going to do some garlic powder. Just a tiny bit of salt. And some pepper. then this is nice and hot it's actually been preheating for a while so okay so you put the cheese straight it's been a while since I've made this <laughs> put this cheese straight on there this is basically gonna create a crust for you I don't know exactly how much but about that much then Parmesan is very um, flavorful. So I'm going to put just a little bit of that on there. Let that crisp up a little bit. And then I'm going to try my best to put half of this egg in here. You really don't want a lot because the egg expands. Oh, of course it goes on the side of the cheese. Okay, let me try to get that. I think I put too much cheese on top. Anyway, I'm going to put some more cheese on top of the egg. It's supposed to be cheese egg cheese, <laughs> but I think I put way too much cheese on the bottom. And then there's a couple little pieces of arugula in there. That's probably going to burn, isn't it? Oh well, let's see how it works. Let's see it kind of dripping out the sides there. I love arugula. Mm. I need to plant that in my garden. Anyway, guys, while that's going, and it's probably only going to take a few seconds, I'm on week two of keto, and I'm feeling awesome. I just got a scale today, so I have no idea in the two weeks how much weight I have lost, but it feels like I have um, maybe seven, eight pounds or something, because I really do feel it. I feel... Um, in my lower extremities, my upper extremities, my um, upper midsection, I can really feel um, 
a change. I wish I would have got a scale earlier. But anyway, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. And hopefully these recipes that I do very <laughs> sporadically will help you get some ideas. I think this little blue light will turn off when it's done. Now, I don't know how this little thing knows it's done, but we'll see. It should only be like another minute. I'll come back when it's done to show you. Okay, so the little blue light finally turned off. And here's the reveal. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't that look amazing? Now let me see if I can get it out without burning myself. So this you can use, honestly you can make a chaffle, make two of these and put some sandwich meat in between it and turn it into a little sandwich instead of using bread. Um, oh yeah, that side's just crisp, but this side looks really pretty. Or you could just eat it as a snack like I'm going to do. I'm not going to put anything on it, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Um, maybe you could put some bacon bits in there. Just kind of think of anything that you know is keto that you can put in it and um, eat it for a side dish, however you want to do it. But I'm about to make one more of these. I just wanted to show you I guess this is the appetizer, and then I will show you the main entree, which I'm going to be making, um, what are they called, zucchini boats, stuffed zucchini. I actually tried it the other night, um, but I didn't record it, and it was amazing. It was so good. That's why I wanted to do the recipe with you guys, so stay tuned for that. Okay, now it's time for some dinner. I got really full from those chaffles, so I had to wait a little while to start the dinner. Um, but I just want to show you guys my prepper centerpiece on my dining table. Yeah, that's how you know you're a prepper. <clears throat> I have to put up that rice, but it won't fit in my deep freezer, so I don't know how I'm going to freeze it for four days first. Anyway, prepper problems. Here, let's get started with dinner. All right, so stuffed zucchini or zucchini boat, whatever you want to call it. This is super, super easy and fast, and it is delicious. You need a big zucchini. Um, um, yeah, that. Got some rouse marinara. I only have half a pound of this ground Italian mild sausage um, because I used the other half pound the other day. And for me, it actually worked out perfect because um, half a pound split over two halves of a zucchini worked out. Um, got some olive oil, Italian seasoning, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, and um, a pan, <laughs> uh, baking sheet, some parchment paper and yeah so let me get started with the Italian sausage first obviously I'm gonna brown this up I got my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'm just gonna go ahead and brown my Italian sausage just like you're making tacos you don't need to watch me do this I will be right back when I'm done. Okay, so I got my meat browning, my pine sausage. I'm going to get my little pan ready with some parchment paper. And I just want to tell you guys how sad I am right now because I totally mismanaged my time. And right now I am missing the premiere of Prepper Now in telling it like it is. I'm really sad because I'd like to be there for the premiere and watch it live, but I'm not going to be able to. Anyway, I'll go back and replay it. Okay, so zucchini. Just cut off your ends. And then... Place it right down the middle. All right. And then there's no real science to how to do this, and maybe you have like a special tool at home to do it, but I'm just kind of maybe a quarter inch from the edge, I'm cutting in at an angle. 
just enough to shape a little boat shape. <laughs> and this is how I did it last time and it worked out okay. Kind of just used a spoon. And then poured out a little bit at a time. Which, um, zucchini is low carb, but if you're eating too much of it, then you are, then the carbs are still adding up. Um, I am kind of going to just waste this inside stuff. I feel kind of bad. But, there we go. There we go. Okay, so both of my zucchini boats my zucchini canoes are ready to go. Um, my Italian sausage is browned. So now I'm going to add my rouse marinara. And one serving is half a cup. So I'm going to do exactly half a cup. Maybe a heaping half cup. Um, put that in with the Italian sausage. And then I'm going to turn this down to low and just kind of let the sauce and the meat simmer together. Put this on my back burner. And just kind of mix it all up together. I don't know if you could see what I was doing there. And then put it on low, let it simmer for a little bit. And then... We're going to put our zucchini boat. I, like, I think I just like saying zucchini boat because it sounds cool. Um, put them on your parchment paper on your pan. Your oven should be heated to 400. Just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on each one. That's probably too much. Brush it on. I okay, have some leftovers there. Okay, just brush it on top. And then I salt and pepper everything. Remember not to forget about salt when you're doing keto. And my favorite is the pink Him Himalayan salt because it is delicious. Um, so I'm just going to put this in the oven. I can't remember how long I did it last time, but it was probably a good 15 minutes or so. I'm going to try 15 minutes and see... Um, where that leaves us. I want it to feel just a little bit soft, but not too soft um, Because after that I'm gonna put the meat and cheese on and then cook it some more. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes Okay, so I just pulled out my zucchini and I had it in for 15 minutes But it didn't look quite as soft as I wanted it. So I put it in for five more minutes. So 20 minutes total and now I'm gonna just <clears throat> Oh, okay, so I want to tell you, um, you double this recipe if you have a bigger family, but for me, I'm going to eat one of these tonight and one of them tomorrow probably for lunch. So half a pound of the ground Italian sausage was perfect. Um, but double it if you have to, triple it if you have a big family. Uh, the amount of sauce that I put in there has five net grams of carbs. So each of these will have two and a half net grams of carbs with what I put in the sauce here. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it on here. And there's probably gonna be some meat extra left over, which is totally fine. I'll use my fingers for everything. I'm the only one who's eating it, guys. I really don't care. <laughs> I wouldn't be using my fingers if I was feeding other people. My son's not going to eat this even. It's literally just me. So just fill your boat up like that. And then you come with the mozzarella. Some's going to fall off on the side, but it's okay. Mm 
<clears throat> as much or as little as you want. I'm just trying to get some extra fat content, even though this is a skim. What is it now? Part skim mozzarella. Um, it is really hard to find a non-skim mozzarella. You can find it, but it's not easy to find. So I'm going to try to put as much cheese as I can. Because I like cheese. And then the Parmesan, which I'm running out of. I used both of these cheeses for my chaffles earlier. Okay. And then some Italian seasoning over the top. If you have something else you want to do, maybe some red pepper flakes or something, that'd be good too. Um, I didn't use a spicy Italian sausage, so actually red pepper flakes would probably be good on this. But I'm just going to stick, I hate wasting cheese. Um, I'm going to stick this back in the oven for probably 10 minutes at the 400 degrees. And then I'm going to turn it up to broil for about 5 minutes. Okay, they just came out of the oven. I baked them for 10 minutes and then had them on broil for about 2 minutes. I said 5 minutes, but 2 minutes would have burnt it. And they look delicious. Um, I'm going to save one of these for my lunch tomorrow, but I'm going to savor this and eat this one tonight. Um, guys, try this recipe because I think it is one of the best keto dishes I've ever tasted. And, um, I really want a lot of people to try this keto thing if you're curious about it because it's one of, um, the easiest diets to maintain, I think, in my opinion, because you get to eat delicious stuff like this. Um, uh, my dryer is done. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll be having a prepping video on Wednesday. So if this is not your, you know, idea of a good video, it's fine. I'll have another one on Wednesday. <laughs> you guys take care. Bye.